guys, it's Aiden Style, and today we're gonna um, finish up on our doll's dollhouse, and maybe we'll make another video. But this video is kind of furnishing on the outside, and um, so let's just get right to it. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to make a window. Which um, first, to make it a window in outside, I actually sort of showed you, but just draw a bedroom scene. Like that, or if you can find a picture from like a magazine, that would be cool too. And then what you can do is you can find um, a frame that's a piece of scrapbook paper or any colored paper, like even construction paper would work for this. And so you see how we just have it cut like that. And then put your dot of glue in the middle so you can see we have this really adorable window now and then we can just glue it on whatever side you like you don't have to make it coordinated with other windows but I am just because I like the look of it my glue is being stubborn because I made the other two videos last night and this is like the morning. Okay. So, ooh, is that okay? Sorry. I meant, okay. So, then what you can do is you can just. glue it on and it looks great and it kind of coordinates with that window it doesn't have to exactly match but if you want it to go ahead and adjust it and everything blah 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 okay next what we're going to do is we're going to make a door that actually opens and shuts okay so what we're going to do now is our door is going to be like on this side because this side will probably be easier. And ooh, my ribbon trim fell off. If your trims or anything falls off, then just take some tacky glue or craft glue. Glue it on a little bit tighter. And actually, I'm just going to take off this trim and do it later. So see, the ceiling trim ain't going to be down there for now. I think it looks fine without the ceiling trim, actually. I don't need that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a door on it so what you want to do is our door is actually going to be opening and shutting and you can actually get into the house using this door okay so actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slit then you want to try to cut it as tight as you can but not too high, just high enough to fit the doll in is that gonna be my thing. And cut it so you actually have three out of like the four sides moving. So you can see now we can open and shut the door. And then make sure your dolls fit into it. And my dolls don't fit quite yet. So, you know I'm going to make it larger just by cutting this open. And you might want to take sharper scissors. But if you're under 13, make sure to always have an adult's help when using sharp scissors like this. Unless you're comfortable and you've used sharp scissors like this before. And make sure your door opens nicely. Go ahead and make any adjustments you need because this is going to be your door for permanent. So now you see we have our door and our dolls fit into there almost perfectly but that's it's good enough. When you decide that it's good enough 
it's good enough for you. If, as long as it's good enough for you, it's good enough for everybody else. Then go ahead and rip the paper off. We told you not to put the paper, glue the paper in this. It was absolutely necessary. Especially don't glue the panel on there because that's what we're, we're actually going to use the paper for the door. So, yeah. And then the door opens and shuts nicely as you can see. And this little piece that's messed up, it won't be there. So go ahead and cut the paper, rip off the paper, just do anything with the paper on the door because we're not going to need it anymore. So do anything you want with that paper on the door because we're not going to need this paper anymore. So you can see now that we have this done, it's time to glue this little part on, which is really messed up. And then just put a little bit of glue. Or what you also can do is you can take glue box. If I can find them. But I'm gonna actually take adhesive squares and do it. But glue dots or anything would be awesome to use. So you can see now I've got our tab glued on, so now we have our pretty door. And now what we gotta do is we gotta accessorize our door. Which a pretty easy task. Okay, our door is going to be brown on the outside. I've decided, but remember to think outside the box. So you don't have to do brown, but I'm using brown because brown is my color that I like best for doors. But remember you can use white or something. Any color that you prefer can be used because it's your dollhouse, not mine. And then glue your door on. And if it's not the right size, like it's too small, if it's too big, trim it. And then if it's too small, then you're going to have to redo it a little bit. But you don't actually have to put glue on the new door because the new door already, the old door already has glue on it. But that stayed on the cardboard. So as you can see, our door opens and shuts, but the inside, if you like light brown, keep it light brown, but if you're like me and you don't like that color of the box and you think that it makes it too obvious to people that you use cardboard, then go ahead and put your new pattern piece of paper which I'm using this little blue pattern and that's I think it's really cute okay so as you can see now we have our door now it's time to kind of accessorize our door a little bit and our windows and everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pony beads, in my case neon, but any pony beads will do. 
that have like a yellow in them. I'm going to open them and choose a color for your doorknob. Look at it and decide. Uh, this one is going to be orange. So I'm going to take my glue and put it on the side, not the middle. But I said the side. And remember, you don't have to take a pony bead and do it for the doorknob. You can take so many other stuff and take it and use it as a doorknob. Like, for example, maybe like a raised button or just a regular button would make a good doorknob. And remember that this is supposed to be recycled craft, so use what you have. And so you don't have ribbon, you don't have to use a ribbon. You can use something else. And you can you can use whatever you want, and that's what I love about this craft. And then for the inside doorknob, you can choose to have an inside doorknob or not. And I am. And I love this craft, especially because it has a lot of little detail. I like the little windows and the little doors and the little couches. And we're going to detail all that. Okay, so let's... We're going to run past the video limit pretty darn soon here, so let's just, like, knob this one up. This second door up, and this pony bead is messed up, so I'm going to throw it away. Then for this side, I'm going to do pink. Okay, well, it looks like we got to wrap up this video now. Thanks for watching, and see us in part four. Bye!